We're driving a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica all-wheel drive. Coming up, we're gonna put that all-wheel drive system to good use, although I kind of am right now. <laughs> but first, information explosion. <laughs> It is a minivan review. Let's start things off with interior. Quick trade secret, we got held up on the way to do the on cameras. We were just stuck in traffic for like an hour because of a car accident. So we are rushing to beat the sun. So we're gonna blast on through this. Sweetie, what do you think about the interior styling of the Chrysler Pacifica? I like it. It's functional, yet they still clearly put thought into the design and there is a theme throughout of this shape. And what is that shape again? This shape. It seems like you're trying to emasculate two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting to me is that the uh, Pacifica has been on sale since the 2017 model year, but it still feels very contemporary to me. And you're right, the interior is super practical. If you look around, there's all these little like nooks and crannies and all these little spots where um, when you're a family, you wind up just collecting crap and you need to put all of that crap somewhere. The Pacifica wants to accept your crap. <laughs> So second row seat comfort is impeccable and third row seat comfort is, is impeccable as well. It's so nice being the crash test dummy average human male because it's like I'm a pretty good judge of like whether or not it's a reasonable space back there. I have plenty of head clearance and the thing I love about the third row is that the second row seats are cantilevered so there's um, open foot space. It seems like everybody has a good view because each seat is higher than the one before it. Totally. Like you're in a little movie theater. Except what you're watching is uh, Ronin with all the car chases. Needless full throttle <laughs> acceleration. You may have noticed that we're driving the seven passenger version. There is also an eight passenger version. Cargo space is similarly impressive. 32.3 cubic feet behind the third row. I was looking from this seat and it seemed impossible that it would be that large. But... Quite possible because it goes deep. You know what I can't believe we haven't mentioned? Huh. These absurd red seats and oh. how awesome they are. So that's um, a fun little thing called the S Appearance Package. The S Appearance Package um, includes like dark trim on the outside and the inside. There's a whole sort of stylish motif. And then there's another red package that you can add on top of that. And the thing that I find so amazing is the price. Do you want to take a guess? How much do you think the package costs? Two grand. The correct answer, $295. What? And if you want the red seats, these cool Napa leather red seats. And I do. $195. What? If that... you want the red version. Isn't that crazy? That... How are they doing that? I should have made that the tease because that's <laughs> such a good revelation. It but is. Yeah, like to me, wow. like, that is a no brainer. Yes, I'll take the S appearance package. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. That third row, it drops into the big void below uh, so you have this really flat load floor and then the second row seats stow and go to me is the killer app uh, nobody says that anymore <laughs> for the uh, Chrysler Pacifica's <laughs> functionality because you take the second row seats and they just flop right down into the floor and what's cool is that you can use that space to hide your weed when you're not <laughs> just kidding <laughs> You don't have to do that anymore, man. man. Yeah, but you've got all this space under there that you could use for storage if you needed to. And then if you want to get rid of the seats, you don't have to lift them out and um, you know strain your back like if you have a Honda Odyssey. Mm. You just flop them right down. It's a really, really neat uh, bit of engineering that they've got there that makes this a very, very flexible package. Sweetie, what do you think? Family friendly? Yay. Family friendly. <laughs> we might have achieved the ultimate in family friendliness. <laughs> Rear window test. Is that it? Close enough. High five. Armrest test. As you may have noticed, uh, I'm driving at a comfortable eight and four, and we've got the uh, inboard armrest, which is adjustable. You can move it up and it'll stay in the same position until you push this button to adjust it to your new position. It is so comfortable. It's got a little bit of squish. 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 No, I'll go squish. I like squish. Squish is yeah. a nice made up word. I like it. Yeah, you can uh, make that even, uh, or you could lower it down if you want kind of a Jean Luc Picard situation. Oh. I'm going to give that two elbows up. Wow! I know. Hey, have you subscribed to Mike Drives? If you haven't, please do. At 100,000 subs, I'm going to review a windowless white van. Style! Kick it off, baby. Hit me with that style. I like it. 
that's the kind of commentary you can expect <laughs> from a Micah Drives review. It's surprisingly fun for a minivan. I always like it when vehicles straight into toy category, and I think the S package mm -hmm. takes it there. It helps that, and also the ceramic gray paint gives yeah. it this um, extra little bit of, puts a little stank on it. <laughs> and it really, it's, I think it's a good looking van. What do you think? Do you like the looks of the Chrysler Pacifica? If so, tell us in the comments section. Actually, more likely, if you don't like the looks of the Chrysler Pacifica, <laughs> you will tell us in the comments That's section. That's true. If you would like to see what I'm driving or flying between YouTube videos, please give me a follow over on Instagram. And if you're curious what our family's up to, give Evie a follow. In motion! Driving the Chrysler Pacifica, I get a sense that it is an odd combination of comfort, over the road comfort, driving at speed, just getting around town, you don't really think about it. It sort of disappears, which I think is a great trait in a minivan, but I can verify that if you are motivated, perhaps because of that S appearance package, to drive a little bit faster, you can do that. This is actually kind of a fun vehicle to drive. It does not look like you could haul a boote, but I will assure you, you can. The V6 nine-speed automatic transmission combination works great. Needless full throttle acceleration. I stumbled my words, but you know what didn't stumble? That nine-speed automatic transmission <laughs> in V6. Plenty of power for get up and go. Sorry, get up and go. I want to keep on brand with Chrysler. It's getting late. It is getting late. You're exactly right. That's why we're rushing through this video. So we moved to the mountains, and this is an all-wheel drive Pacifica. I am about to just gush. I, it's gonna sound like this is an advertisement for Chrysler. It is not, but it could be because that Pacifica all-wheel drive is bad. Thank you, Sensi. We had so much time. Okay, on the way here, uh, there were there was a, a Chevy Silverado pickup truck and it was stuck on the side of the road. I I tried to help them, you know, get their chain situation sorted out. You know, there was all these vehicles that were just struggling in the snow and this thing just blasted right on through. It was amazing. I even I was impressed. And these are like so these are all season tires, and they have to offer plenty of grip. And one observation is that the um, traction control system, if you're uh, trying to go up a hill and it's slippery, it will intervene. So one thing I did is deactivate that to make sure that the tires kept spinning to keep my momentum up. But man. As a mountain car, this thing is amazing. That all-wheel drive is new, and it is such a good addition to the package. It, it's one of those things where it's like, why do I like this minivan so much? <laughs> it feels like I should want something cooler, but this is a really great van. Let's see what Evie thinks about driving the Pacifica. We've reached the point where Sweetie oh. is trying to merge with traffic. She's flooring it and seeing how that power feels. How's that feel? You getting up to speed? Yes, I am grateful for the power. Yay! We are driving so fast. Mommy's got a need. A need for driving so fast. <laughs> you, yes. what do you think about visibility? Can you see out? I can see out really well, actually. There's a little bit of a blockage here, so I'm grateful for that blind spot warning. It's included, right? It sure is. Hooray! Hooray! The other thing I'm always uh, curious about with you is seating position. Because oftentimes, when they design cars, they design them for the um, quintessential average American male, but they don't think about the female body type. Mm -hmm. how, are you, how do you feel? Do you feel like you've got enough distance from the steering wheel to be safe, but your feet still touch the pedals? Yes, I do. I feel like I could dial in my seat position a little more, but... Um, but the sun's going down and we yes. do not have time. <laughs> but it definitely feels more um, natural to my short height than a lot of other vehicles do. Nice. And just to be sassy, why don't you floor it one more time for just a brief moment, just see what happens, baby. Whee! Yeah, there we go. Good. And now give me a little loud push on the brakes. Do the brakes feel confident? Yes, actually. Are you into the van? I would drive it. Oh, sweetie would drive it. Well, cue the van life, hashtag. <laughs> Good driving, sweetie pie. I think in total, this is a great driving package. I really enjoy it, especially when it's snowy and slippery out. Emotion factor. The emotion factor of the Chrysler Pacifica is practical but fun. To me, what's interesting is that with the right paint, 
the right super mysteriously cheap as appearance package and the all-wheel drive to me this becomes a much more emotive package mm -hmm. i would say gloating and superiority is a pretty strong emotion <laughs> and as i was making my way through the exact same uh conditions as like a ford raptor there was a the shelby raptor we put it on instagram the other day going through the exact same stuff we were going through it's like yeah i'm feeling kind of bad there's the second time i've said that Ooh. thank you sensi if you're feeling emotionally drawn to drive and buy a Chrysler Pacifica, click the Kelly Blue Book listing link in the description below. Remarks! Remark number one, I think we're gonna get this video done before the sun goes down. Remark number two, sweetie, look to your right and take a look at the umbrella holder. It's down by your hip. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's super cute. I like those fun little details. Let's talk about the um, safety features. So we've got uh, lane keeping assist here. In fact, let me just let this thing drift like an incompetent moron. Oh, steering back. Oh. And then stop steering back. So it was good in the beginning, and then it uh, kind of just gave up. That wasn't a particularly good demonstration, but in general, the safety features do seem to work well, and they all come standard. All the stuff that you'd want, automatic emergency braking, lane departure <laughs> alert, and uh, prevention, which uh, usually works works just fine. The value factor, I think, is also really strong with this one, because the Crash Pacifica includes power sliding doors and a power tailgate as standard equipment. Also standard, and you'll appreciate this, because you're fearful of blind spots, blind spot warning. Hooray! <laughs> I bet the people who worked on blind spot warning, that's the most <laughs> exclamation they've ever gotten for their product. She likes it. She really likes it. I do. Infotainment. You have a 10.1 inch screen there. And when we drove the Jeep Grand Cherokee recently, you liked this. This is sort of a kindred spirit. How do you find the interface? I do like the way the menus are structure is broken down. It doesn't have the physical buttons on the bottom, which is a little difficult for me to use when I'm driving. But I do like the fact that wireless CarPlay is included. Let's talk about optional minivan amenities, starting with Uconnect Theater. It adds two 10.1 inch screens to the back there. Um, and there are these embedded games. You can play chess, hook up a video game system or whatever. I don't know what the kids are doing. But uh, we don't really use that kind of thing. I mean, she's usually screenless when we're uh, traveling long distances. So, and $3,000 is a little bit pricey to mm -hmm. my mind. However, that $3,000 price tag also includes hands-free tailgate and side doors hmm. so mm, maybe that's uh, maybe that could be worth it do you have to buy those as a package or can you get them separately that's the kind of valuable information that uh, <laughs> we'll handle with on-screen text <laughs> thank you on-screen text <laughs> Another nifty thing that comes with that package, though, is the fam cam. Ooh. Pull up the fam cam, baby. Fam cam. Pretty sunset. Yay. It is a pretty sunset. Oh, God, we got to speed things up. So the fam cam <laughs> is cool. It's a camera that shows you what's happening in the back. But what's neat is you can touch on any area of the screen, and then it'll um, make a larger picture of that. Oh, and we can focus in on the bear. Hello, bear. Are you safe? Great. You There's also a 360-degree camera system. I like that. Yeah, and it's a good implementation, too. It's just a good, honest 360-degree camera system. Give it a chance. I don't know what it is, but probably. That's the kind of wholesome interaction <laughs> you can only get with the Micah Drives video. And of course, being a modern minivan, there is a vacuum included. That seems super useful. Your car, that CRV, has got it got to have like. 10 pounds of Cheer <laughs> Cheerio debris like accumulated. If only it had a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the other permutation of Chrysler Pacifica, which is the hybrid. But it's not just a hybrid, it's a plug-in hybrid. The yeah. Stone Go seats, it lacks those because that's where the batteries go, underneath the floor. So I would miss the Stone Go seats, but I would not miss going to the gas station because it can go uh, a little more than 30 miles on electric power alone. Wow. And then after you've exhausted the electric range, it gets 30 combined MPG which is outrageous for a minivan. I almost hit you there. I'm so sorry. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to have to uh, have a talk with HR Hamster. <laughs> One of our viewers suggested we include HR Hamster for when things get out of line, and uh, it's a pretty good idea. It's an excellent yeah, suggestion. Yeah. The sad thing is that you cannot get the hybrid powertrain with all-wheel drives. The other thing I'll mention about the hybrid, by the way, is that it's much more expensive than the non-hybrid. However... If you buy in America, there are still federal tax incentives up to like $7,500, which basically negate its price premium. 
So if you really want to drive the hybrid, you can do so, and there's, there's an economical way to do it, provided you can take advantage of those tax incentives. Let's end things with a quiz. Sweeney, what are the key competitors for the Chrysler Pacifica? Is it the Honda Odyssey, the, um, any other minivan? <laughs> name, the, name one other minivan. <laughs> Toyota Sienna! <laughs> Yay! That's right, those are the two key competitors. Sienna only comes as a hybrid, so Sienna is, is efficient. It's a fine minivan. It's great. It looks a little weird, but it's fine. It's great. It's great. It's, 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 it's a good minivan. Honda Odyssey can't get a hybrid, can't get all wheel drive, but they've done a really good job sorting out uh, interior functionality, but they don't have the stow and go. So I think it's a little bit of a toss up in your priorities. Honda also has that Honda thing going. So if you want to buy a minivan and hold on to it for a long time, and reliability is top concern, then Odyssey definitely has its points there. What do you think? Which of the three key minivans would you buy? Sienna, Odyssey, Pacifica. And right now, somebody's vigorously typing, you forgot about Sedona. Kia. I, what? Kia Sedona. <laughs> it's true. Uh, we haven't mentioned the Sedona because the Sedona is coming to the end of its life and about to, they're about to introduce a new version, which I believe is known as the Carnival uh, internationally. It's not here yet. When it gets here, I will again consider it. <laughs> kind of smug. On that smug note, <laughs> synopsis. In thinking about the Chrysler Pacifica, it is unassuming, unexpectedly badass, and has a great capacity for fun. To me, it's Bob Odenkirk. Have you seen the preview of the new movie, Nobody, that he's in? <laughs> it's, it's like he's having his Liam Neeson moment where he's like a total third time's a charm, bad ass. What do you think? Well, I like them both a lot, so yes. Hey! <laughs> Casual acquiescence to my marginal quality synopsis. Thank you, sweetie. If whatever we just did is something you'd like to see more of, please subscribe at 100,000 subs. I'm gonna review a windowless white van. Maybe you guys will come too. If you'd like to see what we're doing between videos, give us a follow over on Instagram. Uh, I think that was a pretty successful <laughs> minivan video. <laughs> sweetie, can I have a high five? Yay! You and you. Come get your high five. Mm. Ah.